Oh, hi, darling. What am I doing? Nothing much, really. Just making a cup of tea. <laughs> Do you want some, too? Oh, is something wrong, darling? Do I want to tell you something? Um, no, I don't think so. Are you sure everything is all right? You look somewhat, uh, annoyed. Did something happen? What was that? Oh, you found biscuits. Uh, my, isn't that nice? Don't you like biscuits? <laughs> if I found biscuits... Mm, in your sock drawer. You found biscuits in your sock drawer. Again? Oh, my. Um, oh, isn't this just so weird? <laughs> I wonder why anyone would put biscuits in a sock drawer. We need to talk? Um, why? I'm doing it again? Doing what? I'm just making myself a cup of tea, you see. I, I have absolutely no idea what you are... There were biscuits in the case of the grandfather clock. Uh, darling, didn't you just say they were in your sock drawer? <laughs> oh, there were biscuits in the grandfather clock and your sock drawer. And under the kitchen sink. And in the bottom drawer in the hallway sideboard. Under the wax cloth. <laughs> and in your toolbox in the garage. Oh, I, uh, I forgot about those ones. I mean, um, oh my, I have no idea who might be putting biscuits on all those weird places. <laughs> Such a mystery. Um, what? No, I, I didn't put biscuits in your toolbox. Why would I do such an outlandish thing? <laughs> I have a problem. And we need to talk about it. Oh, darling, come here. You look cold. It's freezing outside and you are not wearing your scarf again. <laughs> Would you like to snuggle with my tail to warm you up for a bit? Here, just let me, um... N no, I'm not trying to distract you. I'm not trying to distract you by brushing you all over with my tail. <laughs> I'm just trying to warm you up. It's cold outside and you are freezing. I'm your girlfriend and I'm trying to warm you up with my fluffy tail because I know how much you love cuddling with my soft, fluffy, cuddly tail. And you are talking about the biscuits again. Uh, darling, why would I hide biscuits all over the house? We have a biscuit shelf. It's right over there, here in the kitchen where it belongs. And it holds all the biscuits I could ever possibly want. Um, by the way, do you want a biscuit? <laughs> you know, just a little tea and biscuits while you cuddle my nice, warm, fluffy tail and, um... Oh, baby, stop it already. No, I did not hide biscuits in your sock drawer. Why would I? What? Um... Yeah, but that was last week. I admit I hid biscuits in the distribution board, but that was back then. I was a different person then. I have grown since and uh, become more reasonable, more mature. I told you I would stop hiding... Uh, what? Okay, yeah, it, it, it was me. Okay, fine. You caught me. I plead guilty. You satisfied now? Is this what you wanted? <laughs> Why did I do it? Well, what if we wanted to eat a biscuit and... Yeah, I know there's a biscuit shelf in the kitchen, but what if there's a snowstorm and the power goes out and, um, I, I don't know, the refrigerator stops working and... Yeah, I know biscuits don't need to be refrigerated, but... What about this? What if we couldn't get into the kitchen? Why? Well, maybe there's like a dangerous predator in the kitchen? Yeah, what if there's like a snowstorm outside and there was a bear in the kitchen and we... Oh, there there are no bears in this area. Yeah, but there's a bear girl in that house down the road. Yeah, I know she is working for a law firm and plays the violin and she invited us over for barbecue last summer and she's really nice. But I still think if she got hungry, she might... No, I'm not scared of her. I am not. I am a courageous and confident squirrel girl. I I am afraid of dogs. You are right, but dogs are scary. I I don't know either. I I'm just so nervous all the time. It's like I constantly got this little voice in my head that keeps whispering, what if this happens? What if that happens? What if there is a bear in the kitchen and you can't get to your provisions? 
And then I make a little stash somewhere, you know? Somewhere hidden where they can't find it. And then I feel relieved for a little bit. But then the anxiety comes back and I go back to worrying about what might happen if our supplies runs out. And I, I get worried that you could starve in winter and I would be all alone. And then I must create more secret stashes to protect you and... No, don't hug me. I don't deserve hugs. I'm just being stupid and silly crazy squirrel girl who's afraid that her boyfriend might starve because there's a bear in the kitchen and- No, don't hug me. Don't fluff my tail. No, it feels nice, but I, I don't deserve it. Because I'm so, so stupid. Stupid and stupid. Why didn't I talk to you about it? Because I was scared that if you found out you would you would leave me. Because why would you want to be together with a stupid, crazy squirrel girl? Oh, stop hugging me. What? You want to help me? What do you mean? Someone to talk to? Someone professional? No, I don't need... I... You're right. I probably need someone professional. But I'm scared. What? No, I'm not scared of talking to a therapist. I'm scared of what people will think if they find out. And and you? If I'm completely nuts and you get fed up with my craziness and you leave me and... You wouldn't? You want to help me? You want to help me get through it? Really? Even though I hid biscuits in your sock drawer? Oh, I love you. I love you so frickin' much. I'm sorry I'm such a burden on you and putting you through so much with my... Oh, stop hugging me. No, wait, don't stop. Actually, can you fluff my tail again? It feels nice. Ah, oh, thank you. Do I want a biscuit? One moment, are these my sock drawer biscuits? Oh, they're the toolbox biscuits. I am so sorry. I, are you sure you're not going to leave me? Do you promise? Oh, I love you. And yeah, I would like another hug. <laughs>